Medium-weight fighters offer several advantages over heavier fighter jets in certain situations. They provide a good balance between performance and affordability, offering advanced capabilities without the high costs associated with heavier, more complex aircraft. These are also typically more maneuverable due to their lighter weight, which can be a crucial advantage in dogfights and close air combat scenarios. And today, we will compare two of these aircrafts, South Korea's KF-21 and India's HAL Tejas Mark II. The KF-21, also known as the Boramae, is South Korea's new 4.5th generation fighter jet, which means it has advanced technology but isn't as cutting edge as 5th generation jets like the F-35. The KF-21 is primarily designed for air superiority and ground attack. India's HAL Tejas Mark II, also a 4.5th generation fighter jet, is an improved version of the Tejas Mark I, featuring several upgrades. The Tejas Mark II is a multi-role fighter jet. Its primary roles include air superiority, ground attack, and reconnaissance missions. If we talk about design, the KF-21 has a length of about 16.9 meters, a wingspan of 11.2 meters, and a height of 4.7 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is around 25,600 kilograms. The Tejas Mark II, on the other hand, has a length of about 14.6 meters, a wingspan of 8.5 meters, and a height of 4.9 meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is around 17,500 kilograms. These specifications highlight the compact and agile design of both aircraft, suited for various combat roles. In terms of performance, the KF-21 and Tejas Mark II are quite similar in top speed, both reaching Mach 1.8. However, the Tejas Mark II has a longer range, capable of flying up to 3,500 km compared to the KF-21's 2,900 km. Regarding maneuverability, both jets are designed to be highly agile, benefiting from advanced aerodynamics and high thrust-to-weight ratios. If we talk about the payload capacity, which refers to the amount of weapons and equipment the jet can carry, the KF-21 can carry up to 7.7 .7 tons of weapons, while the Tejas Mark II has a slightly lower capacity at 5.3 tons. This difference means the KF-21 can carry more weapons, giving it a potential edge in combat situations. Regarding engine power, the KF-21 is powered by two General Electric F414 GE 400K engines. These engines provide a maximum thrust of around 22,000 pounds each, giving the KF-21 excellent performance and fuel efficiency. The twin-engine configuration enhances the jet's reliability and power, making it capable of performing demanding maneuvers and sustaining high speeds over long distances. The Tejas Mark II, on the other hand, uses a single General Electric F414 GEINS-6 engine, which also delivers a thrust of about 22,000 pounds. Despite having only one engine, the Tejas Mark II benefits from advanced design and materials, ensuring good fuel efficiency and performance. The single engine design makes it lighter, which contributes to its longer range and agility. In terms of weapons, the KF-21 can carry a mix of advanced air-to-air -air and air-to-ground munitions. This includes AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, which are advanced medium-range air-to-air missiles designed to engage enemy aircraft at beyond visual range. It can also carry AGM-65 Maverick air-to-ground missiles, designed to destroy tanks and other ground targets, and precision-guided bombs for strategic strikes. The Tejas Mark II is similarly equipped with a range of modern weapons. It can carry Astra beyond visual range air-to-air -air missiles, designed for engaging enemy aircraft from long distances. It also carries BrahMos NG supersonic cruise missiles, which can be used for precision strikes against high-value targets on land or at sea. Additionally, the Tejas Mark II can be equipped with laser-guided bombs and various other air-to-ground munitions, enhancing its versatility in combat. Both aircraft are equally matched in terms of weapons, when it comes to avionics and sensors, the KF-21 features an advanced AESA radar, which provides superior detection and tracking of multiple targets simultaneously. It also has infrared search and track systems that help detect and track enemy aircraft without relying on radar, enhancing its stealth capabilities. 
The jet's electronic warfare suite includes radar warning receivers, missile approach warning systems, and countermeasure dispensers, which improve survivability in hostile environments. The Tejas Mark II also boasts a sophisticated avionics suite, including an AESA radar for enhanced target detection and tracking. It features an integrated electronic warfare suite with radar warning receivers, missile approach warning systems, and countermeasure dispensers. Additionally, the Tejas Mark II is equipped with a helmet-mounted display system, which allows pilots to target enemy aircraft simply by looking at them, improving reaction times and combat effectiveness. The JET's avionics system also includes data links for secure communication and information sharing with other aircraft and ground stations, enhancing its operational capabilities. Here also, both aircraft are equally matched in terms of avionics and sensors. Another important term is stealth technology. Stealth technology helps the JET avoid detection by enemy radar. While neither the KF-21 nor the Tejas Mark II is a full stealth aircraft, they have features to reduce their radar signature, making them harder to detect. In conclusion, both the South Korean KF-21 and the Indian HAL Tejas Mark II represent significant advancements in their respective countries' defense capabilities. Each aircraft brings unique strengths to the table, with the KF-21 excelling in design specifications, payload capacity, and engine power, while the Tejas Mark II stands out with its superior range, fuel efficiency, and versatile weaponry. These medium-weight fighters offer a balanced mix of performance and affordability, making them valuable assets in modern aerial combat. That's it for today's comparison. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more defense updates and comparisons. See you in the next video.